Hey, what is up Design Squad? Welcome back to this week's episode in Design Tool Tuesday series. And in this series, I basically share cool tools, tools I want to share with my, let's say, junior designer, peer designers, design community, so you can actually benefit from having a new method or tool or plugin or some sort of free resource or paid resource in place. And today I want to share another AI tool. If you remember a couple of weeks ago, I shared a photo generator where you can just scribble different bits and AI from NVIDIA can generate like a, you know, full fledged creative photo, which you could use, for example, backgrounds and things of that nature. And that was awesome. And today I want to share with you a sketch to code by Microsoft AI Labs, and you can access it through sketch to code.azurewebsites.net. And right off the bat, you're going to be presented with this proposal, which is basically, hey, you can just upload your handwritten sketch, which I'm going to do in a minute. And then it's going to generate you an HTML of basic layout. As you can see, you can just use a sample. And if I click on it, it's going to generate me a very simple kind of HTML. It produces quite clean code. It's very basic, but everything has a division, another diff for H1, another diff to justify. There are quite a lot of diffs, I guess, but I don't remember exactly what did we make. A pretty simple type of mock-up layout for a form. And as you can see, there is a lot of discrepancies. So name, I agree, as you can see, there's plenty of typos, but it is a functional bit. And I wonder if there's any validation as well. Nope, it's just HTML. Let's try another design before we move on. Really quickly, I see this is much more complex. It would be neat if it would actually input the pictures inside these different bits. Uh, let's download again and just preview it. And there's a lot of glitches here and there. As you can see, there is some sort of field here, but when input field here, it's, it's not perfect. And let's just see what sort of predicted object details it has. So that's a, one of the coolest part because it gives you a spread exactly of what it predicted and to what percentage if it was accurate or not. So for example, here it was sure by 89.57% clarity. As you can see, the patterns recognition worked, the text box, paragraph. And here where is a lot of mistakes happen because it wasn't too sure that this is a text box. And what was the probability of it, the confidence of it? As you can see, it's pretty accurate apart from some of the text field. So I guess it just needs to do a better work with the lines. That's cool as is, but let's try now to do my own sketch. As you can see, it's simple and it doesn't really have much reasoning. It was just really quick doodly way to put together some ideas and no way it's going to recognize any of this. I can guarantee you. I can guarantee that it's going to recognize maybe a button, an input field, maybe notes, maybe my writing and maybe a division for actual block, not the avatar, let's see, or a tooltip or even let's see tabs. I just don't believe it could. So let's go ahead and just try it. Boom. As I said, it's it's way far off. And if I actually just preview it, you're gonna see that the actual image, it just put in like a button for the avatar. It recognized the name, not the email string and just a safe information. Very poor results. Let's try another design, which is like, this is just gonna, you know, break it apart. Boom, this is nowhere close enough. Side by side, you're gonna see immediately how crazy it is. So it recognized numbers. It thought that it was a drop down somehow. It recognized my text. It translated that pretty well. Special delivery didn't got recognized at all. Then there is some sort of drop down. So it recognizes the drop downs in one way or another. It recognizes the cancel, but it doesn't know that it's a link. So maybe if I underscore the cancel, it would, who knows? And then the next button with some sort of weird random checkbox. And as you can see, it thought that it's a combo box. I don't know what that is, but it's definitely not. I guess that's what we mean by drop downs. It tried to predict something here as well, the black space. So I guess you might want to crop it if you try it. And then it got a checkbox out of that area. Hey, close enough, hey? One more thing what I wanna check before I actually close it down is one of their other examples. And you could actually see how it predicts, but I guess we didn't want it to make it perfect. So you know exactly 
what is predicted and what probability it uses. What's the confidence rate that that object is that object? As any AI has to be part of some sort of machine learning and cognitive computing in it, chances are that they're asking us as designers who wants to play with it, like yourself, let's say now, if you're gonna try it, we're gonna teach the machine as we go and as we put different things that, hey, this is right and this is not right. So the only feature what's missing is actually correction. Like to me, it's a bit question mark, why didn't they add, let's say that it's correct or not, so we could actually train the machine and help them out to, you know, better populate the results in the end. Because let's say if this is incorrect and it's not a paragraph, I could perhaps just say, hey, this is incorrect. And just as Google's capture, let's say, trains the underlying algorithms to learn what is, let's say, a traffic light in one of the capture images when you select to authenticate your, let's say, comments on forums and things of that nature, the same way we could train this bit, but they don't really want it. So I wonder what's the catch. Anyhow. I hope you liked this tool and this video. Check it out. As per usual, give a like to this video if you like it. Subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment down below what you think about this tool. And on that note, I'll see you next time.